Hello everyone, Ghost Godzilla Thunderbolt here, bringing you guys another review. Yeah, since we've seen several trailers of the upcoming movie, Godzilla vs. Kong, I decided to do a, a, a figure, to, a figure that's going to be used again for the new movie. See, so, yeah, which one I'm going over today. Yeah, so today we are going over the new Bandai Movie Monster series. Godzilla 2019 from the 2019 film Godzilla King of the Monsters without further ado let's get into it starting off with detail and paint we're getting closer and one thing I do love about this figure I do like I do like the how the head is sculpted of course he's got the nice metallic blue eyes for this figure so there's the other side, now you can't see it that well. Oops. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, and also the teeth. I didn't notice right here on the bottom jaw. On the bottom of the teeth is kind of a mouth slop. Yeah, on the bottom of the teeth, you can see that right there is mouth slop. You got the brows, the nostrils. What I do love, I do like how you got the gills here. The gills on the neck here. So on that side, you got them on the other side of the, of the neck too, so look how they captured that. Then so you got a nice little skinny pad on here on the, on the neck. The arms. You got some nice skilly details on the arms here. There's the claws. See, his claws are not painted. Sorry about that, there's a little cardboard there. See, his claws aren't painted. Doesn't bug me too much, I'll let them. Don't, doesn't bug me. Now for the chest. See, you got some nice armor detailing on the chest. Nice armor detailing on the chest. We got nice armor detailing on the stomach. We also got more armor detailing on the legs. See some scaly armor paddle, paddles on the patterns on the on the legs. Got that, that, that the same detail on the knees. So I kind of get the nice armor scaling. Scaly pattern on the knees, going all the way down to the legs. And the stumpy feet, yes, they did make his toe claws a little longer. That's how they were in the movie. And uh, I, I, I don't like the nice metallic blue paint here on the spines. Yeah, it's kind of reminds me how he's um charging up his atomic breath. I love the spines here. I like how the spines look like the 1954 Godzilla design. I like how the spines look like the 1954 Godzillas. The blue metallic goes all the way down and just sounds like an immediate jump to black here. See, but see on the tail, you got, you got some more metallic blue paint. As I mentioned earlier, see, immediate jump to black. Come on, Bandai, can at least paint all the way down the tail. See the tail here, it's got some nice detailing, nice scaly patterns going all the way down the tail, right to the tip. Bottom of the tail, there's copyright information, at least in 2019, you got some nice smooth details under the tail. See, I love how they capture that. Now, yeah, see, this is the third take on the 2014 Goji. See, what they did when the 2019 movie came out, what they did, they changed up the design and gave him a more muscular look. They elongated his, his toes, changed up the spines here on the back to look like the 1954 Godzilla. And they beefed up the tail tip. We just have a little skinny part here on the end of the tail, but they removed that. So he has a more tail tip plump here. Now, and of course this this design of Godzilla is going is being used again for the upcoming movie Godzilla vs Kong. Yeah, I'm going for Team Godzilla for the new movie for the new Godzilla vs Kong movie. Yes, yeah, so I I hope we get a 2021 Godzilla figure. I hope we get some of them from the new some of the monsters from the new movie. So yeah, articulation, yes, four points. Both arms. 
can move, they are quite still, so be careful moving them. In the legs. Yeah, unfortunately, his tail does not move. Yeah, I think it's a separate piece, and I do not recommend breaking that glue seal. And he said, I don't bother breaking the glue seal, leave it. I'm just going to leave it alone. Okay, now we're going to scale this guy up with some other figures. So here he is next to Benai Creations GMK Godzilla and Benai Creations first Godzilla. So you guys can see he'll go a perfect scale of any of your figures here. So yeah, so he looks like next to these two figures. So here he is next to Benai Creations Godzilla 2000 and Benai Creations Burning Godzilla. As you guys can see, he go, he'll go and let's go with these two as well. Here he is next to Rodan 2019 and King Ghidorah 2019. As you guys can see, as you guys can see, he'll go good scale with these figures. But, we're still in Mothra 2019 here. Let's get a stand. Yes, yes. So you guys can see this is what she looks like. Actually, hold on. Let me um, put that around here real quick. Let's see if that helps. Yes, yeah, yes. Here's Mothra 2019. See, these are all four of the Bandai figures. See, so yeah, let me go ahead and move Mothra 2019 out of the way. Let me go ahead and grab the next two. Here he is next to Bandai's Movie Monster Series, Godzilla 2000, and Bandai's Shin Godzilla. As you guys can see, he'll go in great scale of any figure you scale him up with, so he goes in good scale with these two. And finally, here he is next to the new Bandai Destroyer and the new Heavy Arms Mechagodzilla. Yes guys, it's been confirmed, Mechagodzilla will be in the new Godzilla vs. Kong movie. See, so this is what he looks like next to these two. He'll, I mean, he doesn't go on that great skill of Destroyer, but he'll go on great skill of some of your other figures. Now I'm going to take a look at the tag. So here's his tag. We've got a nice shot of Godzilla from the film. And of course, his monster verse right up here. 65th anniversary, 2019. Godzilla, 2019. Open it. we got all these Lego Mumble Jumbo when I saw a Godzilla here. And on the back, just got a nice dark silver of... Godzilla here, Bandai Movie Monster Series, Legendary. Of course, I did notice they don't have the cutout here on the tag. Yeah, they don't have that cutout here on the tag, but that doesn't bother me. Overall, guys, he is such a great figure. Like, the detail looks nice, so Bandai gave you another thumbs up for that. He's such an amazing figure. He scales up nicely for the figures. Paint job's good, articulation's good. See, but I hope. So we've already got Kong 2021 figure already for the Bandai Movie Monster series. See, Bandai, if you're gonna make more Godzilla vs. Kong figures, can we get an, an, another version of the of this guy? Like, can we get can we get Warbat? Can we get can we see a Bandai vinyl of Warbat? Yeah, can we see a Bandai vinyl of Warbat, Mecha Godzilla? I'll ever see one of some of the other monsters. See ya. Anyways, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, hit the like and dislike button, and tell me what you guys like and dislike about it. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on the notification bell, so you, so you can get notified when a new video goes up. Anyways guys, this was Ghost Godzilla Thunderbolt, signing off.